Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and today I'm gonna talk about how to create your FTP account in GoDaddy server to upload your ASP.NET web applications or a web app. So here we go. So what I have to do is I have to log in my GoDaddy account. If you have already a GoDaddy account or hosting then you can log in there. If you do not have you can create your new accounts. So just uh, I do have already account so I'll just sign in and there is uh, my domain web hosting and different option are here so i have to just go in web hosting section so just click on manage and there is my default entry points domain name is equality.com just click on manage it will take you through the <coughs> our dashboard section so we have where we have to create our FTP account <coughs> just wait for a moment it's just loading the so here we go <coughs> there is the option add new domain add new subdomain or add new domain alight so uh, you can see that there is a equalite .com is one of my domain that I have added here so if you want to add a new domain you can add a domain from here so if, if you already have a domain in this section just type the name of your domain and choose the hosting type whether you want to host a website whether you want to forward a domain name or there is no hosting and just click on ok your domain will be <coughs> coming up here like this so when you are in this section so i'll just go to show more option here there is a ftp access option just click on that and here you can see that there is a ftp account section and there is options add new ftp account or remove ftp account if you i do have already two accounts here there is a default account as i have created account here i can remove this account by clicking on the remove section and if i have to add a new account here i'll just click on add new FTP account <coughs> and I'll just put the name of my account here so you can put any name of your account home directory options leave it as it is because this is what exactly uh, you are creating for the FTP account for a whole whole system not for a particular directory so you can create also for that but leave it as it is and generate your new password just type in your new password what you want to put ideally you should put a special character number or character over there and, and below there <coughs> there is a permission section that is read and write permissions so just to make sure that uh, you should check on both the option below because uh, ultimately you are going to create your FTP account so when you publish your ASP.NET website from localhost what do you want that some client side application like FileZilla in that case what do you want that so whatever the changes you make in a local system or copy in a server site you should have right you should have access right to you know edit things and delete things so for that purpose you have to check the right permission and read permission both and just click on ok your <coughs> FTP account will be created so that's all that your FTP ac account will be shown up here like this like uh, uploader 91 and that's all from my end in this video in the next video I will show you that how to publish your ASP.NET website using FTP account so just check out my new videos in this video that's all from my end thank you so much